44 News. At this place in history, we're in Castleton with Steve Perkins, Executive Director of the Vermont Historical Society. Steve, what brings us here this week? Uh, so, Mike, we're on the campus of uh, Castleton University, and right behind us is one of the oldest buildings um, on campus, and it was, in fact, the first medical school in the state of Vermont. Medical education looked a great deal different 200 years ago from what we might recognize today. Yeah, so we're talking really early 19th century in the United States. And so medical education was starting to, uh, you know, enter a time when students did go to school right. uh, rather than learning through an apprenticeship. Every New England state at the time had a medical school except for Vermont. There were three doctors who lived in and around Castleton, um, Celia Gridley, Theodore Woodward and John Crozier. They saw a need for that in Vermont and thought that, hey, we could also make some money doing this. Right. This is a private school. And Castleton would be a great place because it's right on the New York border. And education at the time um, was not clinical in the way we think of medical school yeah. now. It was lecture-based. So students would come and they would spend a term hearing lectures yeah. from various doctors. Then they'd have a couple of reading terms where they had to read books. And of course, there was a library in here as well. Um, and then to complete their education, they would go and they would join a practicing doctor somewhere in the country for that hands-on education. But 1818, that's when it was founded. Some of the students professed to engaging in an activity as part of their course of study that today we would consider a felony. Uh, yes, and you hear a lot of this that happened in England and certainly in the United States. Medical students needed um, bodies yeah. so that they could study anatomy. I mean, part of their study was dissection, but you couldn't readily get bodies. And so often they were taken from cemeteries or, or crypts, and that did take place in and around Castleton. We have um, notebooks from some of these early students where they kept notes on their lectures, but also talked about their activities and clearly stated where they were acquiring bodies from. What uh, in the later 19th century led to uh, the demise of this institution and it's uh, being supplanted by another? The UVM College of Medicine um, opened in uh, 1822, so shortly after this, and it continued to rise. And I think its connection with the state university um, and also being in Burlington, which by the middle of the 19th century just kind of exploded in population, um, made it a much more prominent school. Um, so this, this one started to decline, and by the outbreak of, of the Civil War, it wasn't economically feasible to have a school anymore. So 1861 was the last class to graduate. At that time, it was called the Castleton Medical College. By any name, though, the institution certainly blazed quite a trail. Training many, many doctors uh, through a number of generations here in Vermont. A pioneering medical school at this place in history. Mike and Steve, thank you. Well, the Broadway